The recently released documentary Sex for Great by the BBC is generating heated discourse among Nigerians and has gotten the attention of the country's lawmakers. Deputy Senate President Senator Ovie Omagege observed that a plague of sexual harassment in tertiary institutions and other corporate establishments in Nigeria has long been treated with kid gloves. At a meeting organized by Youth Alive Foundation to discuss the newly proposed bill to prevent, prohibit and redress sexual harassment in tertiary education institutions, the DSP through his aid on legislative and plenary matters, frowned at allowing corporate go unpunished. During the immediate past year National Assembly, I humbly moved an overwhelming majority of the Senate to pass the sexual harassment in tertiary education institutions prevention, prohibition, and redress of our redressal bill 2016. Sadly, the bill did not come out of the House of Representatives sent by His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, who with the First Lady, Her Excellency Dr. Aisha Buhari, are open supporters of this bill. The bill was revised in response to last week's report by BBC that exposed a University of Lagos lecturer, Boniface Igbenegu, of demanding sex from an undercover female reporter posing as a student. According to Utah Life Foundation, the situation was alarming. It's a major problem in secondary school. And what you are talking about, a principal peeping his female students to men outside. It is, it is a sad situation. And, I, and I'm also appealing to the Senate that this could be schools, it could be secondary school and tertiary schools, because these things are important. And young girls are damaged from early. Once you are abused, and there's nobody that abuses you. So I totally I, I, I agree and I join your call that they, 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 they should be included. In findings by YAV, the 19 tertiary institutions across six states, 51.7% of 3,000 female students suffered sexual violence in school. This is what I want to do in my life. And um, they still, I believe they still end up choosing whoever they want to have in campus. They have the right to do that. But in a situation where I don't give you the right, you ain't got no right to treat me or touch me anyhow you want to. According to the bill co-sponsored by 106 senators, any person who commits any of the offences is guilty and on conviction be sentenced to an imprisonment term of up to 14 years, but not less than five years without an option of a fine. Roots TV Nigeria.